guys, so today I'm going to show you five life tricks that you can use every single day. Now this is not one of those videos where I go on Lifehacks Twitter and steal all their tweets and just reenact it. I actually came up with these myself and I think they're actually really useful. The first one is for all you procrastinators out there because I am also one of them. See, my problem is that I'm always on my computer. So what happens is that I tell my friend I'd be at her house at 9am and I actually won't end up there until like 9.30 because I'm too busy YouTubing and tumbling and stuff. So what I do to fix that is I set my laptop time 10 minutes faster. What this does is that it makes me think I'm late so I hurry up and finish it. And it actually works because you think you're running late so you move faster only to realize that when you look at your phone as you're leaving the house you're actually leaving on time for once. The second tip is that you should roll your clothes when you're packing when traveling. You save so much more space, trust me. All you have to do is roll Roll your shirt like this. And you can go from this to this. Just like that. If you're on your laptop and you find that it's dying and you can't get to a power cord fast enough, simply turn down your brightness and your battery will last so much longer. Number four, when you are in a store and they ask for your email, do you really want to give it away? No, because then they're just going to send you a whole bunch of annoying emails and sell your email to companies that will send you random crap and junk. Instead of being like, oh, I don't want to give my email, you can just give them a fake one. See, what I do is I make up really stupid emails and they all seem to believe me. The trick is to keep a serious face. Hi, can I just get your email address to put into the computer? Yeah, of course. It's GretchenWieners at Hotmail.com. Gretchen Wieners? Is that your real email? Yeah, why? Never mind. Honestly, just act like it's no big deal and they will buy it and it's actually really funny. And lastly, number five. You know when you're in the shower and you come out hoping to look in the mirror and see how great you look after that fresh shower, but you can't because it's all fogged up. All you have to do is turn on the fan before you get in the shower, and honestly, the mirror won't fog at all. And apparently, hot showers can mold your walls in time. Or so what the internet told me. So having the fan on not only gives you a hot shower, but it also keeps the rest of the room cool, so the mirror doesn't fog and your walls won't mold. So that's all for today, and sorry if it was a little lame, but I didn't want to jump onto the bandwagon of everyone repeating the same like tips on every single video so hopefully you appreciated this and I will do a part two if we can hit 50 likes before I end this video I just want to mention two things one is that I'm currently 130 subscribers away from 3,000 oh my gosh for those of you who don't know at every thousandth subscriber mark I make an Ask Tanya video so if you click right here you can go to my last Ask Tanya and leave some questions down below because I'm very very close and I'll be picking questions soon so make sure you leave your questions on this video here and not on this video and second is that I'm now on a collab channel yay I'll leave the link down below so be sure you subscribe and support me on Tuesdays on simple collab thanks for watching subscribe like and comment and I'll see you guys next time bye